This is a tutorial from LearnWebsiteDesign.com and this tutorial is going to cover how to add styles to your web pages using internal style sheets and external style sheets. Now there are four methods to add styles to your web pages, one being inline styles, another being internal style sheets, another being external style sheets, and also you can add styles to your web pages using at import uh, styles. Now again this tutorial is only, is only going to cover internal style sheets and external style sheets. Now I'm going to begin by showing you how to add styles to, web, to your web pages using internal style sheets. Now to do this within the head tags use the opening style tag as well as and then you end it with a closing style tag now within the opening style tag you have to include the type attribute with a value of text forward slash CSS. Now on this document because I have only the only content that I have is a level one header I'm going to apply the styles to that level one header so I type in my selector then my declaration block now in this case I'm going to choose to give the header text a color of red and a font size of 70 or 70 pixels to be more specific. Now I'll save the document I refresh the document and notice the changes that were made. The text now has a color of red and the font size is 70 pixels. Now if I wanted to apply these changes to other HTML documents um, what I would have to do is use external style sheets. So to do that I will use the link tag and in XHTML the link tag is a self enclosing tag because it does not have a a closing tag. So I, I end it with a force with a, with an empty space followed by a forward slash and then the closing angle bracket. Within the link tag I also include the REL attribute and the the value for the REL attribute should be style sheet. I also include the type attribute and the value for the type attribute should be text for slash CSS. And then as well I include the href attribute and the href attribute is going to be the location and the name of the CSS file um, where the styles are located. So in this case I'm just going to put styles dot CSS. So once again it is very important that you have the dot CSS extension and the location of the file um, as well. Now because I'm going to be placing these styles and this style sheet, this external style sheet in the same directory, directory I I just enter the, the file name uh, as is. So with this I'm going to get rid of my internal style sheets, create a new document and add my styles to, to the new document. Now within the new, the new document the only thing that should be included within the within a CSS document is CSS code and nothing else. Re remember, remember because I have the file within the same directory and the name of the file is styles I'm gonna save this file as a .css file and I'm linking to the file once again using the link tag and when this web page is refreshed the 
the style stage changed the same because I did not make any changes. However, if I were to create another file, HTML file, and I were to include this code, the link tag with the which is linked to the styles.css um, file, every header one tag within that the other document uh, would have the same the same styles.